Breaking news. Afeni Ferry Ayo Banji speaks on Tinubu's declaration for his aspiration to become Nigerian's president. Uh, we've, we all woke up to the break of the news that um, Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu intends to run as Nigerian's president. And um, he has gone to tell the president officially of his intention to run for the position. And uh, many people have their, you know, differences as regards to if Tinubu is the right candidate or not, or what should be done, you know. So, uh, Ayo Adibanje, the, um, one of the Aferi Ferries members have, um, you know, uh, they've gone to have a meeting with Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu with regards to this intention. It's on the southwest region of the country. And so everybody wants to understand if Tinubu is the right person indeed, because um, as it stands, a lot is at stake. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. 2023, Adebanjo speaks on Tinubu's declaration for presidency. Elder statesman Chief Ayo Adebanjo has reacted to Monday declaration of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu that he will contest for presidency come 2023. Tinubu has visited President Muhammad Buhari in Abuja, where he told him about his intention to run for the number one position in the country. Why the move has excited diverse viewers. Others have been skeptical if Tinubu is the right person for this position. Adeban just said it was just most important to him that the Pan Yoruba group in which he's a leader, the Afeni Ferry, is the is in consultation with regards to Tinubu's intention. The punch quotes him in an interview on Tuesday said Tinubu has the constitutional the constitutional right to contest for president. Just like anybody, there is no big deal in that. If he intends to contest for the position, all well and good. So long as he's got what it takes, then there is no issue or problem. I'm not commenting on any candidates now. I'm not recommending any candidates under the constitution until it is changed. But we will watch and see as many more will indicate their interest to run for the number one position in the country. I don't believe in any election without changing the constitution so there is no point commenting on any candidates the constitution of nigeria is a fraudulent one and i don't think that is what should be passed on to another administration if that is not amended and dealt with immediately we have spoken and we have made our intention known to the current administration that the current constitution of nigeria is a fraudulent one and if things must change then they must do the right thing to bring nigerians up to speed and change the constitution which has defraud the people the current constitution on which nigeria runs is not what should be this should not be what should govern the people or lead Nigeria as it were. The current constitution is not right. It's not a template that should be passed on to anybody. So I don't have anything to say in regards to any of the candidates. First and foremost, there needs to be the change of the constitution, which carries and connotes we the people. And also there must be restructuring for any meaningful election to be done in this country. So that's an elder statesman and um, as an elder, he's not missing word. He's neither hero. He's not missing word and just, you know, beating around the bush to say that, you know, to say different things from what he has already said before. He said, you know, if Nigeria is going to get good leadership, starting from the very most important thing, the, uh, the very constitution to which we have now is a fraudulent one. A constitution that speaks about what Nigeria is today is the one that does not depict the right, the, the true intention of the people. Just the number one, the very first line of that constitution is wrong. You know, it's it's all a fallacy and it's all a big lie. Saying we, the Nigerian people, there's no we in the matter. There's no we, the Nigerian people, in any such matter. There's no we, the Nigerian people. It's a group of soldiers who put this together and who wants to you know, who put this together and who wants to make their, you know, make themselves feel important. There is no we, the Nigerian people, 
Okay, there's no we, the Nigerian people. And so that constitution, every word being sent in, in that very constitution is all a lie. So the first and foremost thing is to first of all correct the abnormalities, the lies to which we have been parading ourselves. Then we can potentially begin to talk about if there is, you know, a restructuring and if the elections will hold. Until until then, okay, it's just like when we entered into 2020, 2021, nobody believed the world can go on lockdown. So we wait and we see, you know, there's, there's been a lot of agitation here and there with regards to the leadership of the country, with regards to, you know, division of the country, because those who perpetrated leadership has been fraudulent and have not allowed Nigerians to enjoy the dividends of democracy. Apparently, in quote and unquote, we say it's a democratic government, but this is worse than the military rule, so much so that it's being compared to the regime of General Sonia Bacha. That's how bad things are. So if things are going to change, if things are going to look up, then there is need for overhauling of the whole system, and we cannot continue with the same formula like we will usually say, and expect something different. If you actually want to, you know, do something worthwhile, then you introduce a different, uh, a different uh, position altogether into the whole, the same situation for something meaningful to come out of it. So it, it is what it is. Nigeria is currently in that position, in that state, where we need to make decisive decision on what next. What next? Is it the same thing over and over again? How are we going to make a difference? How are we going to make, you know, decisive position that could truly and really alter the course of what is currently what we're experiencing? You know, the, the truth of the matter is everybody has got responsibility in the said above discussion. Everybody has got to, you know, we all have to put in our weight at the end of the day. It's not for some people, in quote and unquote, it's our collective duty to bring to an end a regime of ty tyrant and, you know, oppression. So for us to do that is our collective decision together as a, pe as a people, as one entity, as the same, you know, uh, uh, speaking out to say this is what we intend, this is what we want, and we are not going to back out from it. So when we stand in that position, where we take that decision, then we are sure that we are heading somewhere. Up until then, I don't think that um, things are going to change all of a sudden. If things are going to change, then every one of us, we need to work at it. It's a collective effort, it's, a, it's an agreement, it's a collective decision in the, in the place of saying, let us get things done, up and running. So it is what it is. Leave us a comment, we would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you to have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. Is bye for now. Bye.